Hi everybody, welcome to American Heroes Outdoors. I'm Scott St. Sauver. And I'm Mark Kortz. Welcome to Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin in the sixth annual Wounded Warriors event here at the Lodge at Lethem Smith. Today we're gonna go out and do a little salmon fishing with some great veterans. And not only that, we're going with Captain Mark Kortz, who is a great member of our team, is gonna tell you a little bit about this day. We're gonna target a few Chinook, uh, possibly even a rainbow, maybe a brown, and uh, there might even be a lake trout out there. So let's see what happens. We're gonna get out in the water with a bunch of great vets and have a wonderful day. Hero, a person who is admired for courage, outstanding achievements, or noble qualities. There is no mold for heroism. Heroes are not born. Rather, they are defined by their actions. American Heroes Outdoors is a 501c3 nonprofit organization, and our mission is to share the stories of these heroes while helping them heal in the great outdoors. Join us on our quest to honor service members who define the word hero. American Heroes Outdoors is brought to you by Shields, Gate City Bank, Woodland Resort, Warrior Boats, SNS Promotional Group, Evan Rood, and Commemorative Firearms. We just drove out to 362 feet of water. Uh, what we've got right now is a little warmer water inside. So we've chose to travel out to a little deeper water and we're trying to find that uh, magical break where we, we get a little depth change, current and uh, temperature change down in that 100, 140 foot of water. So we're gonna target uh, anywhere from 100 foot down, down to uh, 140 this morning and see if we can't find a few kings out here. This is my first time salmon fishing and uh, Scott invited me to come along and be with a bunch of other veterans that are that are here for the uh, for the trip, and I always love opportunity to get together with with fellow veterans. There's a big one too. There you go, All right, BG. Scott and I uh, served together in Iraq. We mobilized in 2004. We came back in 2006. I was battalion commander. Scott was deputy. They sent 330 soldiers of our battalion over to uh, Iraq, and we had security forces in Baghdad and uh, him and I and our headquarters were stationed in uh, Camp Taji, Iraq, which is about 15 miles north of Baghdad. And they made us uh, mayors and we were mayor and deputy mayor of Camp Taji. Heck of a title for an army, army officer when we were field artillery battalion commander and XO. We had no idea what, what was involved in being mayor and deputy mayor, but once we got there, we figured it out. That's what we've been waiting for. I missed the first one, so to come across the second one. It's a beautiful coho. Highlight of my day today, catching my first salmon. It was my first coho salmon that I've ever caught and uh, reeling that thing in and getting high five all my Army and Navy buddies that were in the boat with us and, uh, and walk away with it, uh, coho Kevin. A lot of people talk about champions. Victory. But most of us aren't here for that. We are here for the everyday. No medals. No crowd. Just us and our own strength. 
There are all kinds of strong. Find yours at Shields. Woodland Resort is located on the North Shore of the famous Devil's Lake in North Dakota. Whether you're hunting, fishing, or just here to relax, Woodland Resort has the amenities to keep you comfortable. Woodland Resort is the only full-service lakeside resort on Devil's Lake. With six types of lodging options, including the new legendary suites, a convenient bait and tackle shop, indoor air-conditioned fish cleaning station, and much more. To learn more about a getaway for all seasons, log on to woodlandresort.com. This is a fish. He's running with it. Back 240. I went in when I was 17, a few days before I turned 18. I uh, went on a, what they call a kitty cruise back then. That's, uh, you go in when you're 17 and basically get out the day before you're 21. So I went through boot camp at Great Lakes Training Center. I got my orders to San Diego, California on a destroyer called the USS Hall. It was DD-945 and I reported to the engine room and uh, little did I know that we were deploying very soon. So I wasn't on the ship very long and we deployed for Westpac in you know, Vietnam. Woo! Good oh ching I told you I gave you guys a That's chance, a right? Yeah. Nice Beautiful. job, boss. Man. Wow. I deployed a second time to Vietnam again. And um, that got back in 1967. And uh, I got out in August of 67. But while I was on the uh, hull, the destroyer, we uh, were in the Gulf of Tonkin, and we were on the uh, gun line, so we're doing shore bombardment, and we also had the job of going after downed pilots. That was great. That was what we've been waiting for all day. It was worth the wait. We're getting a good story was going on, but we stopped the story to catch the fish. I mean, right now, I'm just getting goosebumps just talking about it, but. Uh, basically, as soon as we found out, we would go to the general quarters and everybody would go to their actual battle stations. And uh, we would pro proceed at full speed to the designated area that we were going to look for the pilot. All the machinery was, you know, running full, full bore and things were shaking and all through the ship and everybody was at the highest alert possible. Then we would get into the zone and we had lookouts, you know, trying to spot the pilot. Then we would deploy the captain's gig and, and a couple of the whale boats to, uh, you know, go in and, and pick up the pilot before uh, somebody else picked him up. I joined actually when I was a senior in high school in the delayed entry program. Um, I actually put a couple of friends through uh, the Navy program as well, so I gained a little bit more rank before I actually went into boot camp. I went to boot camp also in Great Lakes. Uh, went to A school also in Great Lakes. And uh, then I went on board to uh, serve on the USS Nashville, which is a transport ship out of Norfolk. So I was on the other side. It was West Coast, I was East Coast. So we carried over a thousand Marines. And um, I did two tours back to back in the first Gulf War. So when Saddam was doing his thing over there and burning the oil rigs, we were right there in the Gulf. Stay back here. Stay back here, lift. All right. <laughs> I, I caught the sun. It's an Atlantic. Yeah, there, there you go. Mark Hockey, it's Atlantic salmon. So look at the hump here. Yeah. Okay, uh -huh. so that's what we were talking about. And then if when he holds him vertical, you'll see no spots like you'd typically have on a coho or a king. And just the colorations. All right, give me a look here. Put it right in front of you, but don't throw it over the side. We might have two prizes, the biggest fish and the smallest fish. What's that mean? Remarks. Can you see land from here? Of course. <laughs> Who taught you how to swim? Well, that's true, that's true. Live for today, you know, if you got something to do, you want to plan to go somewhere, go do it. Don't wait and, and absolutely sign up, come on up. Uh, call somebody else and, and get in on this program. It's, it's a great, 
great opportunity and a lot of fun. This is what it's about right here. I mean, you know, to spend a day with veterans and, and have the opportunity to watch them catch some of their first salmon and, and just get the opportunity to watch them fight these big fish. That's truly what these events are about and that's why we enjoy doing them. And here at Lodge at Latham Smith, Paul and Holly do a great job. Um, bringing in the vets, taking care of them, putting them up for lodging, and then we get a bunch of the local captains together and get them out fishing. So um, the smile on their face when at the end of the day, when they're all sitting there telling fish stories is, is truly the most rewarding thing you could ever imagine. And nice job. Beautiful rainbow. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Give hey, me, ho. Give me a kiss, Ray. Mm -hmm. It's a camaraderie. You know, a partnership with these guys that you just, it keeps building every year. I mean, this is my second year. I can't wait for next year. I'm super excited. Uh, you know, coming with my dad just means a lot. Uh, letting him catch the biggest fish today also was, you know, a, a big event for him. So, you know, watching him pull that in was, was awesome. So I enjoyed that. Hey everybody, great morning on Lake Michigan with Captain Mark Gortz. Great group of veterans. Guys have fun this morning? Absolutely. Nice group of fish. The people who have supported this event um, want to help pay back and show their appreciation for what veterans have done and continue to do for our country. And for you to not take advantage of it, you're missing out on something really special because it's not just about you, it's that opportunity to interact with other veterans. This means more to me than, I, than even I was anticipating it would. And, and that's just because of the people who are gathered here. Commemorative Firearms, a division of SNS Promotional Group, a great way to mark a significant time, place, or event and raise dollars for your organization. We have provided limited edition, exquisitely enhanced commemorative firearms for many special celebrations, like NDSU Bison Championships, PDR, NFR, and NASCAR events, quality firearms, and true craftsmanship of unparalleled engraving technology. Preserve the special events in your life. Learn more at commemorativefirearms.net. The warrior story continues with the best tracking, driest ride in the industry. Designed with a high degree of dead rise and bow flare to push water out and down for a smooth, dry, comfortable ride. Ensuring your safety no matter the weather. With a lifetime hull warranty, warrior boats are built to last. To find a dealer near you, go to warriorboatsinc.com. Warrior Boats, a legend reborn. And now it's time for this week's Shields Hometown Heroes. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Shields Hometown Heroes. I'm Scott St. Sauver and today we're in Eau Claire, Wisconsin to meet an amazing firefighter by the name of Mike Barr. Mike is not only a great civil servant, but as I met Mike, what I found out is that Mike has a passion for being in the outdoors and helping children. Mike is the president of a foundation called Rutting Ridge that provides tracked wheelchairs to kids to increase their mobility, help them get in the outdoors, help them get out and learn how to hunt and enjoy the outdoors that we so desire in the Midwest. So come along and join us as we meet Mike Barr. I got into the fire service um, actually while I was still in high school. Um, an uncle of mine was a firefighter for the West Dallas Fire Department and I had spoke with him after I had some thoughts of becoming a firefighter. He gave me the idea of becoming a volunteer firefighter on a department to see if it was something that I truly liked. So I pursued that route after high school and became a volunteer firefighter. Did that for about three, four years and then became hired as a full-time firefighter uh, in Milwaukee County. This secondary passion is something that is it's very near and dear to my heart as much as firefighting is. Um, myself and Jared Flickiger, we created a nonprofit foundation called the Rutting Ridge Foundation. And what we do is we provide action track chairs for disabled individuals. These track chairs have a track system on it instead of actual wheels that allows the people to be able to go off-road through dirt, mud, sand, water, 
to access areas they typically wouldn't be able to access with their normal everyday wheelchair. Uh, Mike Byer, he's uh, one of my best friends. We actually met uh, through another mutual friend. He was a, I was looking for a guide in my outfitting business here in Buffalo County and, and he says, well, I know the perfect guy. He's a firefighter, he's got a lot of time off and, and he has a good attitude and he likes helping people. And that was one of the biggest things I like to look for in a person is somebody that's willing to give. When Jared and I first created this foundation, we thought it was going to be able to allow people the opportunity to hunt and fish. But what we also realized is the doors that open for these kids just to be kids and to go and play and be more like a typical kid and just go do things that we didn't even envision that they miss out on. Um, being able to roll, just cruise down a, a beach and roll through the sand and go through the water is something these children can't do in a regular wheelchair. Ryan is the young man that uh, got the chair today. Him and his family had um, submitted an application via our website with an interest in receiving a chair. And after reviewing a lot of applications that we get every year, Jared and I decided and the rest of the board that he would be our 2018 chair recipient. We've seen kids out there that, you know, that were, wish they were playing with other kids and there, we've seen kids that wish that they could be out hunting with their parents or whatever and, and that right then we both looked at each other and said we can't give this up. This is too much passion for the outdoors that we have. You know, Mike works full time as a firefighter, his days off, he's got, you know, a lot of time to give and for myself being in the outdoor business, we just thought it all made sense that maybe this is what we were supposed to do. This is maybe why we're on earth, to help other people. That does it for another edition of Shields Hometown Heroes. Thank you, Mike Barr, for your service and your sacrifice to your community in the state of Wisconsin, and also for making kids' lives better by being out there every day and providing those chairs so kids can get out there and enjoy the environment. So from Shields here in Eau Claire, and from all of us, we'll see you next time. Here's what people are saying about SNS Promotional Group. My name is Staff Sergeant David Morse, and I am the Vice President of Wounded Warriors Guide Service. Wounded Warriors Guide Service and SNS Promotional Group have been partners for almost six years. Once we found SNS Promotional Group, it all came together. Working with SNS has been a breeze. We tell them what we want, they bring their cards to the table, and then we deliver our product. If your company or organization is looking for a solution to a problem or a way to reach out to your clients, reach out to SNS Promotional Group. You'll be glad you did. Prosperity is today's investment in tomorrow's promise. The promise of a better way of life. With every act of kindness, every act of creation, and with every act of love, we strengthen our community. And when we stand together as a community, we accomplish the impossible. We can choose to pass through life, or we can choose to pass on a better way of life. I feel like I'm a very patriotic guy and I never served and I think that uh, many of our veterans and all, all of the armed forces that have served, I think many of them are underappreciated and uh, I have a very small skill set and pretty good fisherman and I'm pretty good in the kitchen and I own a beautiful resort so I stuck to what I was good with and thought that uh, we could have some veterans come and go fishing and we could put them up at our resort and feed them some good meals and build some camaraderie and, and hopefully make a positive impact on many of the veterans that um, just don't hear the words thank you enough. So that's what really started the foothold of getting it going. Hey, good morning everybody. Second day out of the sixth annual Wounded Warrior event here at Sturgeon Bay. Gonna change it up a little bit today and go out walleye fishing with professional angler and guide Corey Springle and Kelly, what's your last Miller. name Kelly? Kelly Miller. 
And Kelly is a Iraq and a vet, Afghanistan vet? Yep. And we're going to spend some time with Kelly in the boat today and see if uh, Corey can live up to the standard of catching us some great big walleyes. <laughs> So today we're out here on the Bay of Green Bay side here, walleye fishing. Now we got a perfect little walleye chop here. We're actually running some crawler harnesses, putting out some planer boards. I mean, Green Bay is, is famous for big walleyes and it's one of my favorite places to fish out here on the bay. And uh, I think it's gonna be a great day to catch some big walleyes. Perfect one to eat right there. Nice yeah. little green bay walleye there. Yeah. Good job. My dad uh, was in the army in Vietnam, okay. and then my grandpa, World War II. Okay. So it kind of ran in the family. I enlisted in 05, 2005, went on three deployments. You went into nursing. Mm -hmm. You went, be, went a truck, became a truck driver, went to two tours to Iraq, one to Afghanistan. I was in nursing school. I didn't complete it. Okay. So, you and then I enlisted. Okay. But then when I got out in 2012, I went back to nursing school. You went back to nursing school. Mm -hmm. And now you're a nurse. Now I'm a nurse. And where were you a nurse at? At the Appleton VA clinic. At the Appleton Veterans Administration. So you're working with veterans every yes, day. Yes, in primary you're care. You're a veteran working with veterans. Yep. How is that? So I think they feel a little more at ease when they're speaking with me, because I am a veteran, and they know I'm a veteran because I have a veteran tab oh, okay. on my name tag. Right. So. Do they ask you about it? Yeah, we veterans? always talk, yeah. yeah. I'm always talking to veterans. What do you got there? That's a walleye. Ooh, that's a good one. You'll come, Scott. There you go. Wow. Look at that. Want to hold it? Yeah, sure. Just follow your finger right up that gill there. Do this fan probably. Yep, just like that. <laughs> that's a good fish. That's what you come to Green Bay for. There right you go. How about that? It's nice. Yeah? <laughs> Biggest nice. one you got, huh? Yeah. Fat 26 incher there. there we go. What is that? 26 incher. Nice. Super fat though. Let's put them in here to I rehabilitate. I think I beat Chuck. I think my mission's complete. One of the things I believe in is the, is the outdoor environment and, and the therapy that goes with with outdoors. Yeah. And, and getting these veterans outdoors. What do you, do you think that's true? Do you think it it's, it works? It's definitely. Uh, type of therapy, mm -hmm. you know, it's kind of on the holistic side. Mm -hmm. It's not giving them medications, yeah. but it's kind of is that bad? No, of course not. I mean, it's we... uh, mental health. Yeah, it's good for mental health. That is a beautiful fish. <laughs> awesome color. I think that in the slightest way, this event makes a difference in many people's lives. There's new friendships made. People get to smile for a couple days and I think it's refreshing for them to be around a group of people and know they're loved. You know, not everybody's told every day that they're loved. And I think that these vets there's a deep compassion for one another. And I know that my wife and I make sure we tell them all they're loved. And uh, it's a special thing. <laughs>